the Oslog software was developed exclusively for Oswald by Godrich and Voice Manufacturing Company Limited, one of India's most reputed and trusted brands. This software is compliant with the guidelines laid down by the ICH and US FDA and is also 21 CFR Part 11 compliant. This software also provides the user with an account of who did what, when, with every menu entered prompting for a password and purpose or reason to ensure user authentication. Data from the equipment is stored through the Oslog data storage device which enables data storage in online as well as offline mode with the ability of logging data in a USB pen drive. A single Oslog software is equipped to connect to five Oslog DSD units at one time. I will now demonstrate the software and the data storage device to you to give you a gist of a few of its features. How to log in. We provide you with an installation CD of the Oslog software along with your Oswald equipment. Once the software is installed on your PC, you will observe the Oswald data logger icon on your desktop. Click on this icon and the Oslog software login screen opens up. Enter the default login ID and password that we provide to you at the time of installation. Once you have logged in, you reach the main screen of the Oslog software. The main screen is equipped with various drop downs as you can see here along with various shortcut keys to simplify the data storage process. The small acquisition point that you see in the bottom right hand corner is an indicator of the connection of your software to the equipment. You can see the indicator blinking in green here thus denoting a connection. With regards to some of the drop downs, you have the company master tab under the master drop down. This enables you to change your company name if and when required by you. Under the Oslog drop down, you see a number of options for Oslog DSD units. As I mentioned earlier, a single Oslog software is equipped to connect to five Oslog DSD units at one time. Hence the tabs you see here for Oslog 1, Oslog 2, etc. indicate the different Oslog devices connected to your equipment. The download drop down displays a number of tabs used for the data download process. I will explain the details of some of them to you shortly. The tabs under the analysis drop down are used for generation of reports. These reports can be downloaded in the form of numerical reports or graphical reports depending on your requirement. Under the utilities drop down, observe a tab called GSM settings. This option once configured enables a user or multiple users to receive an SMS alert on your mobile phone in case of certain changes within your chamber such as a temperature rise or failure of your equipment etc. I will now show you how to add a new user or delete a user from the system. Since the software is accessible by multiple users, you would need to configure the user ID and password of a new user to enable access for them. I will now demonstrate how to add a new user login ID and password to the software. Go to the master drop down, click on the configure master tab and enter your password. Once this is done, a configure user master window opens up. Click on add. You will observe another window requesting for a reason to add this new user. Information entered here is stored and can be viewed later in the audit trail report. On addition of a valid reason, you are now able to enter a user type which could be an administrator, a super user or a guest. Once the user type is entered, you may enter a new username and password for the new user. Hit save and the new user's name shows up in the list of users. Similarly, if you want to delete a particular user, select the user's name and hit the delete button. Enter a reason. And click on OK. The user will be permanently deleted from the system and will no longer be able to access the software. Thirdly, moving on to the USB download. Data from the equipment is stored through the Oslog data storage device which enables data storage in offline as well as online mode 
with the ability of logging data in a USB pen drive. For the USB download, plug the pen drive into the USB port in the data storage device on the stability chamber and download the data. Once the data has been downloaded, remove the pen drive. and connect it to the USB port in your PC. Now go to the download drop-down in the Oslog software and select the USB download option. Click on USB download. You will observe that your pen drive automatically opens up. Select the month and year text file that you want and your download is complete. The offline download option enables you to download data directly even in offline mode. Go to the download drop down, select the offline data download option. A window opens up where you can see the option of 5 DSDs to be connected. Select the first option, enter the start date and time and the end date and time during which you require your data and hit the start download button. In the status bar you will observe the progress of the data download. And your data download is complete. Moving on to reports and graphs. Data from your equipment can also be recorded and viewed in the form of numerical or graphical reports as per your convenience. To generate a numerical report in tabular form, you can go to the Oslog drop-down, select Oslog 1 and select Log Report. The Log Report window opens up. Enter the interval time you want between your readings. This interval time could vary from 1 minute to 5 minutes to 20 minutes as per your requirement. Enter a start and end date and hit Report. You will observe your data in this tabular form with the date, time with your defined intervals, your set temperature and humidity, and the actual observed values of temperature and humidity. An average value of both is observed at the bottom of the table. To generate a graphical report, go to the same Oslog drop-down, the Oslog 1 tab, and go to Log Graph. Once the Log Graph window opens up, select your equipment ID, Enter the from and to date of the readings that you require and click on graph. A graphical report of the readings is generated with the legend mentioned on the right hand side. Moving on to MKT reports and audits. I will now demonstrate how you can generate two more important reports through the Oslog software. One is the mean kinetic temperature that is the MKT report and the other is the audit trail report. The mean kinetic temperature, MKT, gives us a representation of the effects that temperature fluctuations can have on materials such as pharmaceuticals and food products. With the help of the Oslog software, the MKT can be calculated for any number of dates. The audit trail report enables you to maintain a record of the date and time that a particular reading was modified or entered. To generate the MKT report, click on the Analysis drop-down, select the MKT report tab, Oslog 1, the mean kinetic temperature window opens up. Enter the time and the date of the days you would like to calculate the MKT and hit calculate MKT. A report is generated in this manner with your first and last reading, the minimum temperature, maximum temperature, the average temperature and finally your mean kinetic temperature. To generate the audit trail report, click on the same analysis drop down that was used for the MKT report. Select the audit report option and enter your password. Enter the days that you would like to view the report for and click on report. The report is generated and as you can see here the details of all modifications and changes that we made earlier are visible along with the date, the time and the reason for each. The storage device and the Oslog software. Feel free to mail us on info at osworldindia.com. We would be glad to assist you.